So here's the deal. I woke up late today, missed my appointment with my therapist, love that for me. And so I've just been chilling, watching Jenna Marbles videos, trying to fill the hole of loneliness that I feel on a constant basis. And then I get this uh, strange feeling uh, in my tummy and my period starts uh, early for some reason. That never happens, love that for me. Last and most certainly not least, at around mm, 12.50 p.m. Uh, after wasting already half a day, doing absolutely nothing, I get a call and am informed that my nephew, uh, whom I babysitted uh, earlier this week because he had strep throat, uh, has a nasty lice infestation. Live ones, like they are crawling everywhere, they've laid eggs everywhere, and they most certainly have infested my household because not only did he lay on the couch that I lay on all the time, he cuddled with the blankets that I have been laying with constantly since he's been here. And I wallow on that couch and then I go sleep in my bed. Uh, and those sheets I just changed last night and then, you know, slept in, so it doesn't matter. Now I have to change them again, wash them in hot water, wash all the blankets in the room I edit in hot water. Uh, I guess spray down the chair I edit in because again, I wear like the same clothes all week because um, I don't leave the house. I have a whole other bedroom that he hung out in that was my brother's old bedroom. I have to clear all those sheets out. Um, and downstairs, my nephew was like on the couch downstairs and on the rug downstairs. So my whole house basically um, is infested with lice. And the best part of all of this is uh, I'm home alone. Um, it's Labor Day weekend. My parents are on vacation and I'm here because I'm not gonna spend three days in a tiny camper with uh, both of my parents and three dogs. I just won't do it, you can't make me. I did it when I was a teenager, I did my time, it's up. I've served my sentence, I'm free. So the best part about um, dealing with lice alone is I have no one to check my head to see if I have lice, even though it's very likely that I have lice. Um, and as far as getting rid of lice, you need someone to like comb through your hair and look for nits. Who gonna do that? <laughs> Ain't nobody here. I get to deal with it alone. So I didn't get to talk to my therapist about my bad week. I started my period early for no reason. And now I have bugs crawling on my head because even though I was convinced when I got that phone call, like I don't have lice, my head's not even itchy. Now my head itches. <coughs> Maybe I'll just, <laughs> Maybe I'll just die and I won't have to deal with it. I also have pets. Um, Do they get lice? When you Google like, I have lice and I live alone, just anything like that, how to deal with lice alone. It's all like how to hide it from your parents. I'm like, who? Wh I'm not hiding anything. Just like, is there no one out there who just lives alone and then just gets lice? Like, how does anyone do this alone? Then it always says like at the end of an article and then eventually you may have to have someone check you. I'm like, okay, but I'm alone. <laughs> Even my neighbor is out of town. Like I am isolated in this house. There is no one here to help me. I guess the countdown of me versus the invader starts now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take care of my head so that can be like marinating while I literally pull every piece of cloth off of its surface and then put it in the washing machine on hot. One of the first things recommended was vinegar. That might be enough to cover my head. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him, we got him. Come here, apple cider vinegar with the mother. Mama's gonna take care of me. Here's the thing, I don't have a lice comb and none of the stores like within a five to 10 mile radius of my house, cause I'm not driving further, have just the lice comb without the treatment and I don't wanna spend money. We have this comb that we usually only use on our dogs. Do you mind if I use your comb? This is so janky, look at this. You can't even give me like the good stuff. You don't have anything better than this. You can go outside? Okay. So we got my mother here. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna breathe through my mouth. We're not gonna smell anything. Soak, uh, soaking our hair with the most disgusting chemical ever created. It's not a chemical, I don't know what this is. Everything's a chemical. We learned that from Bill Nye, the science guy. Oh, I can taste it. <coughs> oh, I can taste it, the air. Oh God. <coughs> oh no. Oh no. If this doesn't kill the lice, it'll kill me. If the host is dead, could lice keep going? <coughs> Oh god, it's burning my throat! Holy crap! I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Is it vegan to kill lice? Cause if it isn't, I'm not vegan! I want them dead! I want them dead like my nose hairs. Oh, it's so potent! Holy crap! Oh, please don't get on my face. I think we got it as soaked as we're gonna get it. My hair's wet in gasoline. Um, I'm gonna comb it. Ugh. 
I don't want to stand here. Do oh, I should be down my back. I'm gonna make freaking lose it. Anyway, welcome to the mouth breather episode. So I'm supposed to comb through this mess and look for nits. Okay, yep, just seeing a lot of a lot of hair fall out. This is just gonna make all my hair fall out. It's just losing a whole lot of hair. Then again, I don't brush my hair except for once a week when I wash it. The one time a week I wash it. That's what people with curly hair have to do. We don't get to brush our hair every day. That's not a luxury we get. I love the way it feels when my hair is like brushed and like someone gets to play with it, but I don't get that privilege. That's straight hair privilege. Check your privilege. I'm losing so much hair. What's that? Nothing. Dude, no. It's a little brown thing. Oh no. Is that a knit? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna save him right here and send a picture to my mom. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, I just find random stuff on my scalp all the time. Like, that could have been from anything. That could have been, like, if I scratched my scalp too hard. Or if I got like a pimple on my scalp, cause that happens sometimes. Just dirt, I don't know because I'm gross. I would rather think it's dirt. My eyes are burning. I'm hearing some weird noises in this household. Hoping it's cats. But um, if it's a burglar, can you help me check my head for lice? Oh gosh, my head's itching right here. <gasps> Who's there? Knock, knock, who's there? <gasps> <coughs> Why can't eyes zoom in? We need to be able to zoom with our eyes. Not to like get weird, but why not? When I read stuff about girls being like, yes, pull my hair. Absolutely not. Number one way to get me to fight you is to pull my hair in any way, shape or form. Even by accident, I will throw hands. I'm gonna go get a magnifying glass and see see what we found. That's the one I'm suspicious about. The one in the middle right there. I'm gonna die with a head full of lice. And I'm gonna give everyone in the graveyard lice and then they're all gonna hate me and make fun of me in the afterlife. I decided making a snack was more urgent than the ever increasing amount of bugs on my scalp. I just dumped a bunch of coconut oil in here. I'm gonna heat it up and uh, I'm gonna pour it on my head when it's melted. That's hot. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. My hands are slick. Oh no. Oh, this can make skin break out so bad. This whole trend right now of like, glowing sister like your skin's so glowing no that's just oil and grease it's not cute it's gross oh god in my eye oh god in my eye oh my vision's so bad do you hear that is this asmr for anybody <laughs> asmr lice treatment so now we're gonna wait for the lice to suffocate oh and pass away Oh, how is there still oil in my eyeball? All right, so I'm gonna let this uh, marinate. I put some zesty Italian spice in there for good measure. You know, people were like sad or making a joke about that meme where it's like, all around me are familiar faces. I think I'm gonna do that. I'll just start singing Possibility by Like You Like. There's a possibility. There's a possibility. <laughs> Don't talk to me or all 100 of my tiny sons ever again. I was gonna be stripping all the beds and blankets and do laundry while my hair soaked, but now I have cramps and I'm tired and I don't want to. There's a possibility. Get off the pillows, Josie. Josie. Get off the pillows. Lice on your scalp be like. This looks like a great place to raise a family. So here I was, coconut oil on my titties, and I found out that earlier this month when my niece had lice, my mom bought this. It's been sitting in her bathroom all day. I didn't have to soak my hair in apple cider vinegar, which is essentially vomit, uh, and then coconut oil and have it run down my neck and back and chest and forehead and cause me to have the worst acne breakout in the future. I just know it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached round three where now I'm going to sit on the floor, put the tablespoon worth of this left on my head. Thanks, mom. And comb my hair again and look for bugs. Ugh! Also, it's 7-Eleven. I've been at this for seven hours. Not even halfway through with all the laundry and... Now apparently my hair, so. It's 9.30, that stuff, I combed through my hair. I don't think I found anything. Didn't feel like moving from the couch and watched a podcast for two hours. So now my hair's mostly dry, which is weird. It feels normal. It doesn't feel like I poured what felt like essentially shampoo all over my head and then combed it through. Um, I'm gonna wash it again. Lice lookbook.
get on my level. It's 10 o'clock. I still haven't moved the first load of bug sheets into the dryer, and I still have so many, so many things to wash. Very tired, very alone.